in this video, I'm going to share with you how to make a printed mask. And you all know, mask is a very necessary thing in these times. No, it's a shield against COVID-19. For inner fabric, I suggest you to, to use cotton fabric. Cotton fabric is soft, breathable and makes you comfortable. Now for outer fabric, there is a ton of options. Like you can use cotton, denim and flannel too. Most of the shirts made with flannel, so you can use your old one. Now the next step is the measurement. This step is piece of cake. You just need two measurements, measurement A and measurement B. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky to draw pattern directly on fabric. So if you are not a pro player, I'm not talking about PGMI. There is a solution I have using pattern. Take a paper and take measurement A and half of measurement B my measurement B is 9 inches so it's half as 4.5 inches so I'm taking 4.5 inches both side up and down then merge the line now take a marking on middle of measurement A both sides From the middle section, take marking on 2.5 cm each side equals to 5 cm. Then upper section mark 3 cm and same at down. Merge the both line with 2.5 cm and 3 cm. Make a curve as shown. Take inner fabric and fold it double. Now adjust the pattern on the fabric. Secure the pattern with some pins. Outer fabric I'm using here cotton fabric too so you can cut it like same as inner fabric now it's time for making stamp for making stamp you need a potato a craft cutter and a pencil using craft cutter cut the potato in two equal parts Take one part of potato and draw monster leaf or whatever leaf you wanted to draw on it with the help of pencil. I'm drawing but uh, it's on camera it's not too much clear. When your drawing is totally complete, 
then take the craft knife and carefully remove the unwanted potato areas like I didn't want to use the outer area of the leaves so I'm removing this with the help of craft knife so you can see how I'm removing that Take a cardboard sheet and place your outer fabric on it. Here I am using fabric colors dark green and light green. Now take a wet brush and color the stamp with a brush. Here I am using dark green color as a shade or highlighted area so the leaves look more natural. Tip number one. Potato has a lot of moisture. So when you are painting with potato, then potatoes moisture come out with paint and your paint is too runny. So before using the paint, clear the potato with the help of a cotton or a paper towel so that excess water will be drained out. Potato stamp are temporary stamps. You can use that stamps for only for 24 hours. Press the stamp with generous amount of pressure, not too much high or not too low. Wait, have you guys heard about BTS? Let me know in comments if you know about BTS. Now, you all are thinking why am I singers? There is a huge fan of BTS in my family. Who is my younger sister? Yeah, of course. She's very crazy for BTS. Papa, can you make a BTS mask for me? Yeah, I'll try. Let's try to make a BTS mask. For BTS mask, I'm going to make the BTS logo on the mask. So I'm going to use the same technique as I used in previous one, the potato stamp. it doesn't come out like previous one so i'm going to use the brush to color it this fabric has two lot of holes so i'm using this paint and after drying it the holes were blocked so i'm using the second coat to make it more sleek and smooth For this, you need 
a sheet of plastic that should be not hard or not too loose and permanent marker and of design I'm using the Iron Man on my phone. Place the plastic on the phone and trace the design with the help of permanent marker. Now with the help of knife, cut out the Iron Man to make the stencil. Now remove the excess plastic with the help of scissor. Take outer fabric and I am here using fabric color. It is silver fabric color. Place the stencil on the fabric and use the brush to color the stencil. After coloring, remove the stencil carefully. There is some point that should be highlighted so I am going to use the smaller number of brush. Now we are on last step that is the stitching. Take out the fabric and place it as shown here same as inner fabric and stitch it with the sewing machine or you can stretch it with your hands too. Using the scissor, cut the fabric till the stitching. This step will help to make a nice and crisp part. Take two 15 cm long elastics. Attach the elastics on outer fabric on the front side as shown. Now take inner fabric and outer fabric and align them with the front curve. the middle of outer and inner fabric carefully and secure with the pins. Then I start stretching from the one side very carefully
leave the one side open. Toodles! Toodles!